Hi, Artie here, and welcome to my show. Today, we're going to be discussing right here, right now. Insightful, magnificent, a tour de force, uh, the next big thing in new media. Or is it? Right here. Is that what, oh, right here, right now, is that what you, oh, good God, right here. Yes, I remember, that was appalling. You, you ask me how I feel. Is, is that a, a serious question? I wasn't given a chance on this programme. I was steamrolled all the way and I was moved to violence, moved to violence. And, and that is not my way, nor the way of my party. Well, he was drunk all the way through. Uh, quite, quite insulting and derogatory about my documentaries and my research and eventually ended up walking off of his own show. So like they kept going on about these like accusations and you know, I made it very clear that that was about the punk side of me, that wasn't me, that wasn't true. I swear they, were, they, they might have got some more lies. I mean, I've heard more rumours about myself and they just came out of nowhere. No, I didn't start those rumours. Maybe the show started the rumours. And the way that they tried to make me out to be a bad guy? Come on, the whole place stunk of that rasta, that rasta stuff. The producer and one of the guests even, who was actually touted to be of importance, were really pissed. What are we going to do about this? I'll, I'll call Kev, alright? I'll call Kev. Oh, that's Christian's job now, sidekick. I, I don't think I... I think you're best off sticking with him, surely. Calm down, Kev. Alright, the, the, the show's on addiction. Addiction? Okay. I'll do some research. I'll... I'll yep. I'll, okay, yeah, I can do this. I'll, yeah, sidekick. Nice. Yeah, okay. Cheers, mate. Okay, be down soon. Brilliant. Alright, see you soon then, mate. Alright, bye. Verdict? What's, what's Krish, going on? Krish, look. Alright. I need you to, to go home for today, alright? What? But I need I need to help out with this, man. Like Krish, did, did you hear I've, what was being Krish, said? We can't I've got this, okay? I've got this. I'm I'm I know what I'm doing, alright? So just go home, don't worry about it. Anything happens, it. you you like you need to call me though. Look, I can like, guarantee that I'm not gonna need to call you, but if if it helps, I'll call you at the end of the show, alright? I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how it all goes. So I don't trust you, you know I trust I'm, you. Yeah, yeah, I know you trust me, but I've got this, okay? I, look, look, I, I know right. what I'm doing, let me do what I do, all right? All right. All right. All right. Another cup of tea? No, Marty. Uh, I've got one already. Yeah, we should get another one. Look, it's fine, okay? It's okay. Looking forward to the show? Ah, Kev. Oh, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Hello. How, how, how are you guys? Good. Yeah? It's gonna be a good show. It's gonna yeah. be good. What, what, what's, what's happening today? Ah, ah, we're doing addiction, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. I'm quite excited, actually. I'm, uh, 
it's going to be therapeutic to talk about my own problems, you know? I'm going to talk about your, your problem with alcohol and your, your own addiction. Yes. That's, that's very brave. Well done. Nice. You're brave. So, who, who have we got on the show? Ah, right, yeah. Sandra um, Bookard, she, she's coming back again um, because she's also been um, having a few and, and, like, and stopping and stuff. So, she. What? Just. What, is she is she an alcoholic? Is she sober? What? I think she's sober now. I think she's doing the classes like 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 your one, like where you just to stop doing that. AA. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. And and, and and there's a guy Stuart, and he runs like a self help group for like lads who, who also like like too much of that. Bit of a shame. Look, can you can you stop doing this? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do this. That's down. Mm-hmm. What's up with you, Kev? Nothing. Nothing. You're, you're, you're back in the sidekick position. You should be beaming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy to be here. It's going to be good. 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 Mm-hmm. Hello, and welcome to Right Here, Right Now with me, Mick Riggers. Joining me today in the studio and back from out on the street is Kevin DeKlein. <laughs> hello, hello. Now, before I get on with the show, I just wanted to make a quick apology to our listeners. Uh, We are finding it incredibly difficult to keep up with the fast-paced nature of the news currently. Uh, With Trump, Brexit and our calamitous government, uh, it's difficult to keep on top of it. And now for the news of the month. The mainstream media have been ramming Prince Harry down our throats, presumably to give us a sense of how Meghan Markle feels when Harry's in the mood. What you may have missed in this royal bombardment is a government announcement to freeze benefits for the next three years, which works out as a real-term cut of 3% a year. This comes after a calamitous month for both the government and the economy. Robert Mugabe has been forced to resign after a peaceful military coup. He has been replaced by Emerson Manangwa, who has promised to hold a democratic election in the new year. The song of the month is Line of Fire by Tom DeLue. So I'm here to talk about uh, alcohol addiction, actually. Yes. So why? Oh, really? Alcohol? Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm I'm, I'm uh, helping people with that as well. You, you know, are, like are the you therapy going? therapy sessions and groups oh. like that. You know, but basically, it's just um, yeah, it's a congregation sort of thing. If you know what that is, uh, like it's basically it's just a, like a people come together. They pull up chairs. They sit down. They kind of explain what's wrong with them. Uh, and they have to talk, of course, about the alcohol addiction in itself, yes. because otherwise, well, 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 you can't come to terms with something you don't accept. So you're explaining to me what a group that Absolutely. meets to talk about Absolutely. addiction is all about. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, okay, it, you organise these two. I, yes. yes, me and yes. a few others. Right. Yes. I do understand. You know, seeing as we're a company. Right. Well, we're not a, like a limited company or a stock company or something like that. It's just there's a group of us trying to do good in this in the, in the community. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, um, which of course, I'm sure if you've had experience with that, I, then I'm sure you can kind of fathom. Prob- it. I, yeah, you know. well, that yes, I can. Thank you. Yeah, so yes. it, it, it helps because addiction affects everyone very very different ways, very different ways, especially when it comes to alcohol. It becomes, you know, part, partly money, uh, if not uh, social, um, if not, yeah. It can become pretty, pretty uh, negative effect on your life. You uh, guys watched any local news recently? No. No. Hmm. Mick? Seen anything lately? Now I'm losing faith. Okay. Right. Now I'm sick. Yes, just done. Uh, oh. Good tea. Oh, no. Of course. Okay. 
Hello and welcome back to Right Here, Right Now. That was Tom Delu with The Line of Fire. Uh, the main topic for today is addiction. Uh, joining me is Sandra Bockhart. Hello. Hello. And uh, Stuart Cumberfield. Hello. Hello. And, uh, and so tell me, what what is your take on, on addiction? What is addiction to you? Addiction to me is uh, just a, a way to kind of escape reality of course for everyone and that would be to you know to just re resign your feelings on all responsibility and uh, we all have these vices and they come in different shapes and sizes and i'm just i'm just trying to help people kind of unmask that accept it face it and move forward so i i've um for for me it's quite a, a recent um uh, discovery that through going to meetings uh, that um, I have found by listening to other people that I had a problem where I, I, I didn't necessarily think there was a problem before. And I'm, um, it sounds very, you know, are you, uh, I go to the, uh, I've been going to the AA, mm. re I've recently got a sponsor and that, is that the sort of thing that you run, oh, Stuart? No, 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 no. Um, uh, my, 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 my club, uh, well, we basically get a bunch of people together to congregate together, like a, and um, uh, we all like sit around and uh, it's called uh, Bros Before Booze, and so uh, anyone's welcome. So um, women can be bros. What does it mean to be a bro? Anyone can be a bro if they want to be. Yeah. Um, or so, you could be a, a sister, perhaps maybe. It's it's very it's, it's very self-explanatory. Yeah. It's just a play on words, sort of. You know, I, it's like a, a moment in the moment, sort of. Title, if you will. Uh, Stuart, what, are you uh, are you uh, addicted to alcohol your, yourself? Oh, oh no, I'm, goodness no, <laughs> no, I've I've never had a drop in my life. Oh, uh, yeah. So no. what what bring, what brings you to start this? So um, obviously you see things in the news all the time, and uh, my friends got, had a heavy night out once in a while, and they had a big mess. Uh, my father, whether or not he was ad addicted to alcohol. Or, Something else, he was always out all the time, uh, uh, and he left as well. So, um, Sandra, tell, tell us a little bit about your perspective on addiction. What, what is it that you, that you what, what, what do you bring to the... Well, I don't know that I see it, um, I suppose you could say that it is a vice, as you, as you put it, but I think that the, um, with the AA, it's early days for me now. Um, but um, you, you tend not to think so much of yourself as somebody who's um, gone to the wrong, but really to focus on more helpful ways of living. That's what it is. And um, to actually recognise that alcohol hasn't been your friend and hasn't been a help to you. In fact, it's been a hindrance to you. And you, you see it from that point of view. Um, and as I say, it's early days yet, but I've, you know, actually, um, you know, quite enjoying sobriety, I have to say. Well, and um, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Um, and, and so how, how have you found the experience so far? I mean, as, as someone uh, who's been through the, this, pro well, started to go through this process. Um, uh, well, it, it uh, the support has been marvellous and hearing other people talking about their problems and recognising that this hasn't been a good thing for them has been enlightening for me, I suppose, because originally I went along not necessarily thinking it was for me. But saying, after I, a while, I hate to cut, I, yeah, I hate to cut you off. This is why the bros for booze is welcoming everyone on this sort of subject, and this is why it's so important to have these communities to kind of yeah. bond with. You know, so, which you would, I, of course, yeah. So you've got um, Alcoholics Anonymous is sort of for any anybody, and also you, there's a sense of anonymity as well that you don't feel that you're, you know, I'm speaking about it, but. Um, I don't, I, you know, I think that this is... Um, There's no set rules in, 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 in our, in our uh, like, coalitional 
There, there's, you know, it's a, it's a place where if you, you feel comfortable and peaceful and calm and go to, then open up and then uh, your problems will be halved because uh, sharing is caring. And I truly believe that. I was brought up to, you know, I just make, help, you know, make sure everyone understands and is equally cared for. What is it that you are doing that alcohol uh, AA isn't doing? Well, why is it that your, you know, that your organisation is needed when there is the AA? Which because I some think people is sometimes associate uh, a real medical. Uh, sometimes, obviously, I'm not medically clear, clear, cleared or anything like that. It's purely support. It's purely just local support, um, but it is more involved because there are a lot of people... More involved than the AA? It can be, in terms of social, because there are a lot of people that go that see a direct medical uh, invention or uh, possibility. It, it, it's stressful. It's very. It's a lot of pressure. But if you go to something that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more, well, I dare say fun, but... Um, <laughs> Then it, it it opens up a new it opens up that that door you know you get that happiness back and it's just finding a new thing to kind of to to kind of help you forget and then dissolve these these addictive feelings and addictive tendencies. Why? Right. Well, so I... if, if you don't mind me talking about my own experience oh, of, of, of um, please do uh, alcoholism, I, it's difficult. It, it's it's incredibly difficult even to talk about it now. Um, but the thing I found so hard about it is, is 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 how easy it is to uh, to get alcohol. How mm. it's it, it was socially acceptable. Um, there was no one stopping me. No one even looking funny at me. Um, so it it just feels like a normal part of your your life, and and you don't even realise that it's a problem until it really until it really starts affecting things. Yes. And yes. and you know your life and I, I, the way that I dealt with uh, my addiction, and I, I think the cause of my addiction was uh, the stress. So I, I I dealt with it by by removing that stress from my life and and refocusing on the things that I wanted to uh, focus on. That's good. Mm. Uh, yes, you you were lucky to be able to get a, to escape from the pressures that exactly. were, were leading you in the wrong. Direction. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and I think that that's part of uh, what what that's part of getting over your addiction is is facing the things that cause you stress and 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 acknowledging that those are the things that are pushing you that way and and mm. doing something to to change those things. Yes, I agree. I think that's very important to make your life very much um, towards what's best for you and if there are elements in your life you know you look at your relationships and your associates and your job and all those sorts of things and if there are things that we can change I think it's a very good idea and it's good that you went away and had time to think about oh, it precisely yeah um so I, th I think we can I think we're gonna wrap there um I think that was a great discussion. Thank you very much for your for your input, um, oh. Sandra. It was great to hear your experiences and your story. Thank you, and thank you very much for, as well for sharing yes, your thank story you. too. Thank you, thank you. and, and thank, thank you. you for coming on the no, show, I, I, Stuart. I, I, I'm, like, I'm honoured to be here. Thank you. Great. Um, now, before we finish uh, for today, uh, I have some sad news for our listeners. Uh, Kev Decline. Uh, it will no longer be with us. He is moving on to bigger and better things. Um, so we wish him great luck and, and thank him for all all he's done oh, for wait, our what? show. What? I didn't know that. Uh, hey? You didn't say. No, well, well, no, well, no, 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 no. Kev, Kev, Kev I made a mistake. I did. I, what, what, I made been a mistake. A I didn't know. Part of this show no, I didn't know. And, uh, You've made mistakes. You've made mistakes. I didn't know. I thought he was a friend. I thought he was a friend like you. No, no, come on. No, you have to tease him. What have I done? I've done nothing wrong. Stop. What have I done? What's done? Why have I done? What have I done? I've done nothing. I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. That's just too much. Yeah, honestly. That's the most. It's crazy. It's too much for me. I'm See you later. Okay? Well, 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 well,
I, and thank you, Sandra. It was very, very good. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you thought it was good. Yes, yeah, oh, it, yes it, I thought it did go rather well. I wasn't storming out this time, was I? No. 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 no not at all. Not, no, like, very not good. like before. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, thank, thank you very much then um, for uh, a very, uh, you know, uh, for showing us out as well. Thank no you problem. very much. Hopefully, yes. we'll, we'll see you really soon. Uh, will you? Uh, uh, um. Well, what do you mean, see me very soon? What, what were you, what, uh, what were you? You know, um, soon. You're thinking, thinking, um, oh, perhaps. Oh, yeah, soon, um, soon, yes. Uh, maybe, um, well, I, I, well, that's completely unexpected. I, yeah. I think some people, um, oh, goodness, maybe we could go for, um, a meal. Or, or just for, or just for a drink. Oh, I, d I really didn't expect you to say that. I'm just um, I'm really looking for, really look forward to that. So yeah, it was it was a mistake. I, I thought he was a friend. I was wrong, talking, to but it was a mistake. I talked to You've him. Done nothing wrong, well, but it was a mistake. Well, well, well. Uh, you're talking about the Ken, interview. You're talking Ken, about the interview, right? Have you seen the footage that you that you have? Yeah, had, yeah, that they have released. I, I have. And I've thanks to you, over, over and over and over and, again. And, and I've got to say, it was a mistake. I've got to. I, you know, I, I thought he was a the things. It's Christian that that you told into this house. With things that you have done yourself on this show. No, no. Well, no, I didn't. Uh, didn't do anything like that. Yes, uh, yes. And you've you, over exaggerated other things that have happened and made it sound like all of us have been well, you, carrying you out made mistakes. You've done it. You I've made mistakes. Done I've made mistakes. What? But you, with you, it's a it's a pattern. You keep doing it over and over. I am that it's done, Kev. All right. No. Leave now. How exciting! Just didn't expect <laughs> that at all. Jolly good. Lovely. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you. Did you, you remember you talk to people like that as well? It's just no. turned out that my person. I don't. A, I don't. I don't bit, talk about the show but, other than with you, Marty, you, and Christian. What do you feel about this? What's your view? What do you think? Well, I don't think I think Mick's got a pretty important point here. Well, really, what about the blood oaf? What about blood oaf? Yeah, I own a third of the show. No. Uh, you anyway. Look, it's done now, Kev. You, all right. You uh, like a, you, I can't even begin. You're like a slap dog. You're so codependent. The pair of you. You can't survive on your own. Like you just need each other all the time. Kev. You. you Kev. Who books the guests? It's who done. books the Who does the book? Who does, no. Who books the guests? He books the guests. Who fucking books guests like that? Muppets. And you go. You gonna let him on this? This. And, and pff, you. You're a fucking. You just surround yourself with yes man, just to make yourself look good, you know. And by the way, I play up on that fucking show to make you look more intelligent because you're fucking thick and you blame other people for your shortcomings. You cowards, the lot of you. Who, who are you gonna get to uh, control the guests? Who's gonna do that? You you wouldn't do it. Can you imagine him controlling the guests, getting kicking them off? No, Kev. No. The fact is, we don't have anyone else who ends up. Uh, sexually harassing. So you do. I'm sorry, Sarah. Sarah Longhurst is her name. Well, yeah. What happened to her? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. That's different. And, and that was Christian. a different case. And it's a one-off. And you. Do you know what? I can look at myself in the mirror. And over. I look myself in the mirror. Can you say the same? No. Nah. Okay. Oh fuck this. You. I'm done. Fuck you all. He's right, you should sort out or booking guests. He is right about that. Fuck off. A poor and complete travesty. These guys, they've got me along under the auspices of talking about journalism. And what do they do? I'm not inside the door. And by the way, it was a complete shit heap of place. I'm being attacked from all sides about my paper, saying that it is racist, that it's biased. I have never seen anything like it. I was absolutely disgusted. In point of fact, I walked out. It was so bad. I will never go back on this show again. Uh... <laughs> I think there are other 
much more important things to be doing rather than wasting time with right here, right now. Like, ugh, it disgusts me even now thinking about it. I had to get out of there. I'm really glad that you guys have taken the time to listen to my side of the story. It's just a dirty, ugly place. And they don't, they're just not accepting of people who might do little things a bit different. And maybe they do go towards certain different people. But, you know, either way, it's right by, here, right now. Disgrace. Disgrace. Are you sure they're not going to recognise me? Because, uh, you know, I don't want to get in trouble with it. It's a shoddily, badly put together, sexist load of nonsense. Truly, as a media representative myself, it offends me. Speaking of offending people, they've actually sexually assaulted female guests live on air. They've been taking drugs in the studio. There have been numerous reports of guests being replaced by other people doing their voices. There is no truth to any of the things that they say. If right here, right now says that the sky is blue, it is green. It is the most ill-informed piece of crap I have ever come across.